shit. <laughs> Going for a little burn of Andy Boy. See me playing fish, dude. You done? Some beautiful snappers, huh? Yeah. It's gonna be delicious tonight. I'm excited for this. It's gonna be a seafood feast. A proper send off to the sand bluff before we head back to the marina and ugh, back to the civilization again. Yeah. Though we're not yet ready to leave the amazing sand bluff islands, we've been here for over two months now, and as sailors with a long road of travel ahead of us, we're simply out of time here. Our last few days have been some of our best yet, with good friends, some of whom, lucky, happen to be very good at catching fish, showing the boys the best dive spots, and bravely leading a croc filming expedition. This anchorage simply can't be beat either. White sand, palm trees, and turquoise water abound not to mention good holding and protection, two things we're always after as cruisers. So we're watching Sierra while um, Brian and Kaz are going for a swim, and we decided we're just gonna work out on the beach while we're waiting. <laughs> Sierra thinks it's hysterical. Look at Bill, what is he doing? What a silly what man. Yeah, put your hands down. Yep. Good job, Sierra. Wow. Oh, oh we're full of sand. What are you doing? What are you doing? Are you today. <laughs> so we do not regularly work out on the beach. Oh, there she goes again. Wow, Sierra. Wow, you're doing real good. Wow. One, two, three. Later, we spend the afternoon back on board. Plucky comes by with his daily catch, this time several fish. So we make plans for another bonfire this evening. And then we all spend some time using the dome on Delos for Wi-Fi, which is non-existent in this part of San Blas.
go get the hermit crab pinch. Over there. Yeah, you remember, huh? She remembers, yeah. <laughs> she, she keeps checking on my finger to see how it's doing. Tonight, Plucky's made a batter to fry the fresh fish. Kaza has made stick bread, which will roast in the fire. Here we go. This is a garlic aioli on top that uh, Plucky made. Mm. Oh, wow. Like fish and chips, but just put fish fish there. Um, what do you got there? And it's battered fish. Breadstick, battered fish, and, and the garlic sauce, and the, and the stick bread. <laughs> mm. This fried fish is no! the best fried no! fish I've had, like even at many restaurants. That's, it's that's, so good. That's a pretty bold statement. I know, and I also I also made funny? the statement earlier that this is the best meal I've had in San Blas. Wow. Okay. I stand by that. Now you have to say it again. <laughs> the cycle of baking stick bread and frying fish over the fire continues until we're all so stuffed it hurts, but in the best way. It is such an incredible luxury to share this fresh, supremely delicious, and satisfying food with friends in a beautiful place. Though we've done this many times while in the San Blas, tonight feels just a bit extra special. The sunset is pristine and the meal truly remarkable. It really is the best fried fish I've ever had. Okay, I've had a lot of stick bread and fish and I finally feel like I'm ready to have the healthy thing, which is the salad that we brought. Oh yeah, that's what I need. I know, I'm starting to feel like it's a nice compliment to the fish though, I have to say. It's nights like tonight that we're reminded of how blessed we are to experience life like this. Even while busy cooking, eating, filming, and laughing, it's not lost in us how precious it all is. And to feel this way in the midst of it all, right in the moment, is a powerful experience. I both share a love of diving and can easily spend hours in the water every day. It's one hobby that we both feel equally passionate about, so it's a special way to spend time together, something we value deeply. exploring the underwater world, that I'm taking a self-guided tour through a new-to-me town, and as I glide over and around coral, that I'm checking out its various neighborhoods. I started to imagine things this way when I realized that most reef fish don't travel far from their homes, and instead often stay close to the same few coral heads day after day. Many times, the same exact coral, or even spot within that coral head. It's a good chance this cute puffer fish inhabits this cave regularly. And if I come back tomorrow, he'd be here in the same spot again. This is these creatures' home. 
They live here, and I'm a visitor. It's kind of wild when you think about it, because the ocean is so incredibly vast. But if you look at just a small piece of it, things are actually small and structured. In a neighborhood like this one, we'll find the resident puffer, the delicate angelfish, sometimes a pair of angelfish, a smattering of juvenile parrotfish, your standard stingray making the rounds around town, and occasionally a nurse shark, often seen hidden underneath a ledge at the bottom of a coral head like this, just keeping it on the down low. That is, before seeing me and perking up. We follow the direction of the lovely nurse shark and find ourselves in another town, maybe six or 700 feet from the last spot. On the outskirts of this town, we spy the resident trunkfish, one of my favorite fish, as he swims past a group of blue tangs. It's common to see only one trunkfish, whereas a group of blue tangs is at least as common as seeing just a sole blue ting. We find this town's resident puffer, another fish we only ever see on its own, and consider that a score. Spotting two in one day is not common. Back on the outskirts of this town, we spy a large group of squid, only our second time in the San Blas. They are so beautiful. We follow them for a while, watching as they form a long line. Why they do that, I don't know, but it's the only species I've seen do it, and it's pretty cool to watch. So no engines were started. Earlier today, Bill and I made a big pizza dough for tonight. Pizza is the kind of food that none of us have had in quite a while, so it'll be a treat. The dough has to rise during the day, so we started early. A group effort. Bill is great at mixing, which takes good hand strength, and I'm usually in charge of portioning out the ingredients. A good amount of strength, and the more uh, flour you have, the harder it is. Yeah. It's time for pizza night. We just packed up. Friday night pizza night. Yep, Friday night pizza night. Just like an old, old it was an old days in New York. Old New York. Now we've kind of just taken it to our sailing world. We're holding pizza night on Avalon, Andy and Charlie's boat, because it's the biggest, and they've kindly offered to host. But thankfully, Andy and Charlie have agreed to host, and they have a giant catamaran, <laughs> so we don't have to set up our beach chairs. Hey guys. What is up? Hey, Plucky! Go now. I like your dog. Relax, though. Look, you want to go? I almost got eight. What you got going on there, Brian? I'm finishing my pina colada experiment from today. Okay. This was Sierra's umbrella of today. It's recycled. First dough is ready. You want one, Bill? You stick into your beard. Uh, I'll have one. Why not? One more glass. I got four glasses.
This morning, Andy Boy hailed me asking if I wanted to go for a sale on Avalon. How could I say no to rip on a 55-foot performance catamaran? In typical Andy Boy fashion, we arranged pickup not by dinghy, but via a transfer directly from Calico Skies to Avalon, under full sail, no less. Always an adventure. Going for a little burn of Andy Boy. Oh, it is another day. So he's an adventure. You and Cerveja. <laughs> I couldn't say no to the beer. It's okay. I guess Andy Boy decided that his ancestors were Morgans, who were pirates, and he's been reading a book about pirates in the Central Caribbean, and uh, I guess he decided that more rum and sailing are a good idea. <laughs> so, <laughs> Which sounds great. It just, sounds great in theory. We have but a video to do soon. So. <laughs> so I was working quietly, and he just nudged up to the boat and picked me up. But that boat is such a beast to sail on. We were doing like 12, 13 knots, and we put the screecher up. Like, it was, it was a good time. I'm always, it's always fun. Join us next time as we begin a new adventure, as we leave San Blas and set sail for the Panama Canal.